minister of uh, Stephen mentioned, no excuses. There are no excuses. You just only communicate them to their constituents and to hold themselves accountable for their actions. Yeah. And then, of course, in conclusion, leadership explains any of the other trust in the citizens. Public officials and leaders that I have uh, been able to convince you, you don't have to hold out. Progress on leadership, excellence, and integrity. What have over the past four days to establish the system and turn the system around so that the system works for the people? Nigeria, foreign Lagos state. And this is a, a major. The expected next step is to formulate the data state medium term development plan in southern Nigeria. This is the right. By what extent would the more agenda be? Don't you need to take home, please? I'm taking you. It's transparency and contradicting science. Yeah. So don't worry, everyone is looking for you in the end. If you want to be trustworthy, then this. Conflict of interest is one of the key areas in which. This is the baseline of peaceful policy and law. is small, so. This is the area of growth. Uh, baseline areas are big development and food security, social and economic inclusion, gender equity, people with disabilities uh, that show the ease of doing business is how we the results framework for the more agenda has been developed. It's been the execution phase that we verify and analyze data. Generate an annual scorecard. So and um, the whole idea is to practically share. <laughs> Warmly welcome you all to this retreat. Uh, it's not an opening address because uh, this retreat will add the press strategy section uh, for the past four days. I'm pleased that through these workshop sections, the members of the State of the Council and head of interministerial agencies now have a firm ground of the more agenda. This will ensure that ministries, departments, and agencies of government align their programs and activities with this administration's policy focus. Even more significantly, the strategic imperatives of the more agenda have been now been distilled into deliverables that can be measured, tracked, and reported. These key performance indicators will enable us to measure our progress as an administration based on established timelines and benchmarks for success. This will in turn enable efficiency of government, enhance performance, hold the NDAs accountable, and promote judicial utilization of resources. I'm glad that it's taking time out to step back, pull all of you together, try and look at the landscape, review where we are today, so that you can define a very clear court agenda for the people of Delta State. Come and have a conversation with you. Come and have, reflect with you on this new task that you have been saddled with to lift Delta State from where it is now by giving the people of Delta State more development, more advancement, because they deserve it. And this is what you promised them. Four years ago, when we had the last administration, it was a different world. It was a different country, and certainly a different delta. When you fast forward to today, it therefore it's not possible to now begin to adopt the same methods, the same strategies, and the same outlook to development as you did four years ago. 
Because the last four years have been quite drastic in the history of mankind and humanity. And that is having some substantial and lingering effect on where we are today as a state, as a country, and as a world. Nobody ever envisaged or imagined that we have a pandemic that will stop the entire world. It hasn't happened for over a century. The world stopped. Environmental sustainability. That is the second thematic group. And these are the details of what you have. As a matter of fact, you are a copy of the more agenda. We're not talking to foreigners. We have both hard copies and soft copies. But these are the content, the commitments, that are, and they are very clear. So every MDA has a role to play in, in this under, under uh, economic uh, meaningful development. Human capital development. You have inclusiveness, you have inclusiveness of scale existing wealth creation programs and make them more, more effective. The whole essence of the more agenda is to advance Delta because Delta has moved forward. So we need to advance Delta. The civil service is the implementing arm of the public service. So that's why they are the permanent public service. That's how they are addressed. If you are talking about reforms in the civil service and you are not addressing the age bracket issues, where are baby boomers? Well, a lot of people are under generation X, Y. And now Gen Zs. The Gen Zs are strictly internet children. They can actually work from home. They can work from the street, so long as they have internet and all that. So if you don't understand their mentality, it is very difficult for you to achieve harmony, industrial harmony, when you do that. So that's why if you carry that reform, it has to be all inclusive. And that is the direction that we, we believe that this should, this, this should go. Translation and computerization of the excellency's stated policy commitments in the more agenda into deliverables or practical results. Number two, creation of performance indicators and targets that shall be tracked, measured, and reported to your excellency. I would like to talk about understanding leadership excellence, leadership and leadership excellence, and then talk about Leadership excellence in the public studies, uh, ethics in the public studies, integrity in the public studies, and then a couple of takeaways and conclude. 